How good are you at simple math? Last week during stream, we built an online multiplayer math game where whenever you solve a math equation, you gain points, but if you fail, we subtract points. And this is also online, so you can play with friends and see who's fastest solving math equations. Let me show you how it works. This is the very beautiful website that we built. And whenever you enter the website, you get prompt with entering your username. So let's say Matt Wizard or something like that because we're Matt Wizards. And as you can see, random math equations are falling on the screen. So you'll have to solve them. Let's say 18 plus zero. So that's obviously 18. We solved it and we get 18 points. But if we say that five plus 46, it's a hundred, we get subtracted points because we, well, none of the equations on the screen resulted in 100. So we kind of failed, which means that points were subtracted from our score. Now, the cool part with this is not the brilliant idea of playing a math game, but is that we can open up another browser. Let's put it side by side. And here we can have a friend of us join the project. Let's say Matt, not so genius. And look at that. They see the same numbers falling from the screen. And if they solve a problem now, let's say 114, they also get to the leaderboard. And of course we went ahead and published the website online. So a bunch of people came and we all played a game. And this is what happened. 2590. <laughs> I got a big one. Skinny, you're going down. <laughs> boop, tip, boop, tip, boop, tip, boop, tip. As you could see, we had a lot of fun. And by we, I mean this guy right here. But now, for the nerds of you, let me show you how we wrote the code. So here we are in VS Code. We're using Node and Express.js to create a server. And we're using Socket.io to send events between the server and the client. So for example, we have the on connection event, which basically tells us whenever someone visits the website. And here on the server, we're listening to multiple events. We have the login event. So we're sending an event from the server whenever someone inputs the username in the input field and we're storing the username and we're starting the score from zero. And then we're sending them the leaderboard. We're storing all the usernames and their scores in a leaderboard array. Next up, whenever someone enters a number into the input field down below, we have an unanswered listener, which pretty much finds the user that answered. And we're checking, is the answer one of the solutions for the equations? If it is, we're increasing the score. If it's not, we subtract half of the answer they provided. And of course we update the leaderboard, which is going to emit the leaderboard event to all the people on the platform. So that way everyone can see the leaderboard being updated live in real time. Of course we have a function that generates an expression. We get the random number or randomly it's a plus or a multiply sign. In the future we can add division and subtraction and then we evaluate this expression in order to figure out, well, what's the correct solution. And then we have the index HTML, which pretty much has the entire code, the HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript. I don't like that too much, but I just went with it for the proof of concept. So we have the styling, which was provided by Socket.io in one of their examples. I just kept it. I added Tailwind CSS to style the other things. And as you can see here, in the script as well, we're using Socket.io, but this time on the client side, and we have listeners as well on the client side. So whenever the leaderboard event comes from the server, we're looping through our leaderboard element and we adding the usernames. So basically we're updating the leaderboard. Also, we have an event from the server, new math, which will send us the equations from the server. Whenever we have a new equation, will display it on the screen and the other events I showed you on the server. We have the form listener and the user form listener, which pretty much logs in the user. Well, this is sort of a fake login because if you refresh the website and you log in, you'll be created another username. So that's pretty much the gist of it. 
we took this code, we uploaded this to Railway because, well, that's the fastest way I could find to upload the server code. And then we had everyone play it. If you want to try it out, there's a link in the description. Also, if you want to see me build this stuff, you can find the link in the description where you can see the entire live stream. And if you want to follow me on Twitch, you can find me live there building these amazing ideas. So I'll see you there.